boldness is a choice. It's a series of choices you make to act boldly, whether you are confident or not. Wait a minute, Fred, please elaborate. Confidence is your boldness in action. You're going to be reprogramming a lot of these messages that you're giving yourself. And I have a simple goal for this workshop. I want you to be the voice of upliftment. I want you to make people feel better about themselves. I want you to try to make the world a better place. We got big problems in the world. We need bold people to solve them. You can be those people. I want that transformation to be that you are prepared for those crucial moments that come up. Most dreams are not achieved because they're too difficult. It's because people give up. They don't get to them. There's no bigger and more destructive force against achieving your dreams than thinking you have plenty of time to get to them. And I hope you realize way earlier than I did how short life is. It's too short to let somebody else decide what you're capable of, to spend your time protecting yourself from risk, to live somebody else's dream. It's too short to start the important stuff tomorrow. Your confidence comes from who you are, not what other people think about you. This is what becoming bold and bolder is about, is you become the person who speaks up. I just thought bold people were, were born that way. Like, I couldn't understand why they were like this, why they didn't process rejection like I did why they didn't hesitate, why they didn't miss. I just missed tons of opportunities. I had to change it. I had to be uncomfortable. I had to force myself to emulate bold people as painful as it was. And I've compressed all of that knowledge into something much more accelerated. Because when I say from underconfident to charismatic in 90 days, I mean in 90 days, you develop the habit of defaulting to boldness and you know how to do it. You won't become me. I'm not trying to get you to become me. I'm trying to get you to bring your full self out. You haven't built your boldness muscle. And that's what we're going to work on, building your boldness muscle. Let's make stuff happen. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be world changing. It has to be your dreams. Your dream could be, I want to be a great parent. I want to be a great teacher. I want to be a great leader. I want to be a great friend. You'll go through life and experience rejection and you can really take it on. And this is what bold people say. And it's a very empowering thing to say is what other people think about me is none of my business. Be proud of the risk that you've taken and failed at is this is what bold people have figured out is that trying and failing feels way better than not trying. Take that thing you're afraid of and try it. And it gets a lot easier when you eliminate all of the, the excess opinions and stop giving them weight. We give an enormous amount of weight to these things. We're paying a toll that we don't owe. Bold people just don't pay that toll. Bold people ride for free. Life is such a wondrous adventure. If you take it into your own hands, pursue your own dreams. If you don't do that, you will never know what might have been. I say two, two things to myself every morning. Today is going to be better than yesterday. And I have the power to make it so. Boldness is a choice. Stepping up is a choice. You get to make it or not make it. You're going to be proud of what you've accomplished here.